This is the glitter shot. In three, two, one. Whoa, 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 not so fast. First, we actually have to build the damn thing. So let's get started. We're gonna need some, well, shotgun shells, something to seal it up with, a utility knife, and some eco-friendly glitter, biodegradable, so we don't kill the earth. And before anyone complains about me making my own ammo, here's the ATF telling me I can do whatever I want. Sound familiar? Not to worry, I have a permit. This just says, I can do what I want. Now, before we fill these boomsticks full of glitter and get to shooting, we gotta take all the buckshot out of there so nothing actually gets destroyed. Now we'll just dump it out, and if you didn't know what the inside of a shotgun shell looked like before, now you know. So before trying the sticky dots you'll see in a second, I thought, why not just fill it with glitter and fold it back in on itself? Well, as you can see, I have a green salt shaker full of glitter. Every time I'm turning it upside down, glitter is going everywhere. Not gonna work. Back to the drawing board. The solution was to just cut the top off of it, fill it up with glitter, and seal that up. Now that we got the top cut off, smoothed out, it's time to fill that bad boy up. When I came across them, these dots seemed like they'd do the job. Just about the right size, they look sticky enough, and I figured I could trim off any extra that I needed to. Well, for the first time in my life, I was wrong, because whenever I started to cut it, it would pop off. I guess there's just not that much of a lip to hold on to, and however you moved it, it would pop off like that. So I decided to hot glue it. I set that on there, put some weight on top, and let it dry for a few minutes. In the words of Linkin Park, in the end, it didn't even matter, because when I got to cutting again, it popped off just as it had before. Same idea, just a little bit more industrial. I thought this mounting tape would take care of the job, but same process, put it down, stick it on there, cut around the edge, and it popped off just the same as the dots. Then I thought about T-Rex tape. It's super sticky, it's a lot thinner, so maybe I could fold it down around the edges of the shell and cut it just the same. Process didn't change, put it down, stick it on, cut around the edges. To my surprise, this actually stayed on, but when I tried to actually fit it inside the shotgun, the lip was too big to go down the chamber. Not gonna work. Time to bring out the big guns, and by the big guns, I mean the heat gun, because we're using shrink wrap. Put it down the sides of it, hold it in place with the rubber band, and that's gotta work. But the song remains the same. Before I could actually get it to stick, it burned a hole through the top of the heat shrink wrap. And last but not least, the winner of this stupid little contest is Loctite Foam Gaps and Cracks. I never thought this would be it, but let's give it a shot. Shake it up, put the straw on, spray some out on a paper towel, and let's get to work. Just like the hot glue, gotta let it dry, but once it does, it actually expanded and hardened, so I've got a little bit of room to work with it. Now just have to get this back into shotgun shell shape, make sure it fits in the gun chamber, and make sure it ejects properly too. And I guess all that was worth it because now we have what I believe is the world's first glitter shotgun shell. Yes sir indeed. Now all that's left to do is shoot the damn thing. This is the glitter shot in three, two, one. Thank you guys so much for sticking around until the end of the video and tune in to the next one to see how I counted every piece of glitter that went into that shotgun shell. 
If you liked the video, do me a favor and actually like the video. Consider subscribing if you'd like to see more content like this. It really helps us out. Thank you guys again for the support, and I'll see you in the next video.